we are here at the Lovinger Theater for the opera, The Dialogue of the Carmelites. Francis Poulenc's Dialogue des Carmelites is an opera built on conversations, specifically ecclesiastical ones, about spiritual heroism, martyrdom, and crisis of faith. It is based on the true story of the Martyrs of Campagne, a community of 16 Carmelite nuns who were guillotined during the French Revolution's reign of terror. General Director of the Bronx Opera, Benjamin Spearman, tells us the story. Well, Dialogues of the Carmelites um, was, is about the end of the French Revolution and a particular woman named Blanche de la Force who fights her fear to find herself and also about a group of nuns, the, the Martyrs of Compagne, who ultimately gave their lives in order to demonstrate that their religion, but also their intellectual and emotional honesty, was worth dying for. The music throughout the opera's second half livens up considerably, though, as the revolutionary force close in on the coven and the nuns take their vow of martyrdom. This is a spiritual, even intellectual opera, one that examined themes of fear and grace, particularly what Poulenc termed transfer of grace, by which one human death can redeem another. I had a chance to speak with Overview conductor Michael Spearman, who tells us how he brought this music to life. The opera is a wonderful opera from the 1950s, and it needs to be heard and seen by the audience here live and by Bronxnet, and that's why we did it. It's a powerful story, and it was a historically accurate story coming from the time of the French Revolution, but there are parallels to uh, today's dictatorial uh, things in the world. Dialogues of the Carmelites was the climax of Francis Poulenc's career as a religious composer, a role for which he seemed at first an unlikely candidate. The son of a devout Catholic businessman from the south of France, Poulenc moved into chic and very secular Parisian circles in the 1920s. He composed music that was lighthearted and ironic, thumbing his nose at the pretensions of German romanticism and proclaiming a new era of wit and spontaneity. His legacy will live on. For more information on any events happening at the Lovinger Theater, you can visit www.bronxopera.org. Reporting for BronxNet, Chanel Thompson.